So what do we have going on here? Well, this is an XJS application and we have a bunch of bubbles that are floating on the screen and they will bounce off the edge of the screen and they will bounce off of each other. If I refresh the page, you can see that they are evenly distributed throughout the page such that they don't overlap each other. How did I write this code? How did I build this? Well, I didn't. All I did was create an XJS app, create a page, and then I started asking ChatGPT to build the bubbles floating around the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you how I did that um, and the full process. I didn't actually have, I don't actually have the full chat and nor did I take all of the screenshots. So I'm going to explain um, the different steps that I took to achieve this. So the first thing that I did was I said, hey, I would like a bunch of bubbles on the screen that, um, that float around randomly. Right. So what did that do? It actually generated some uh, code that created a canvas uh, where the bubbles floated around the screen. And I said, OK, that's cool. Um, but then I said, all right, I kind of want the bubbles to uh, bounce off of the edge of the screen. So I had asked it to do that and the bubble started bouncing off the edge of the screen. Uh, then I have two screenshots here where I said, make the bubbles bounce off of one another, too. And it said, sure, here's an updated version. Um, of the animate function that made the bubbles bounce off each other um, as well as the edges of the screen. To which I then said, you know, I updated the code, I ran it, and I said, for some reason the bubbles get stuck colliding sometimes. To which it responded, a few potential reasons of why are blah blah blah. Specifically, it went into um, some details about um, the uh, laws of elastic collision, uh, which I didn't knew nothing about, I still don't know much about, but I said, all right, sure, how would I do this? Uh, and then it said, to update the velocity, um, you know, you would do this, and it would output, output some code. So I took that code, and I uh, popped it in, okay? And I was pretty close, but the problem was the bubbles were not getting randomly distributed around the screen nice and evenly, right? Um, so then I gave it the function that it was using uh, at the top here to seed it, and I said, um, and it said, okay, you know, thank you for giving me this code. And I said, can you make sure the bubbles don't get put on top of one another? Assume the bubbles radius is 50. All right. So then it said to ensure that the bubbles don't get placed on top of each other. And it generated some code, right? But then that code made it such that the bubbles, you know, weren't nice and evenly distributed on the screen. Um, or rather they were evenly distributed, but uh, it would, it would just pick random locations on the screen and throw them there and um, that would cause it to sometimes when you refreshed for 20 bubbles it would actually cause the browser to crash because it couldn't find you know it kept guessing 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 and it couldn't find a location for all the bubbles right so all i said was hey that's pretty inefficient can we optimize it by assuming there will be 20 bubbles and give each one a region in which to start to which it said yes sure i can do that for you to which i took that code pasted it in here and if i go ahead and refresh this screen here, you can see it started um, in basically like a grid-like system, uh, but then started randomly moving them about the screen. So that kind of goes over an entire flow from start to finish of where I asked it, hey, I want bubbles randomly floating around the screen, and eventually got to the point where they were nice and evenly distributed, bouncing off the edge of the screen, bouncing off of each other, and I wrote no code. So that's you know an example of a really powerful uh, um, use case for um, chat GPT and technologies like this. Um, hope you like this video. And if you want to see more, like and subscribe to Robot.js. Thank you very much.